Hey everyone, Kaylee here, and today I have some heatless curls for you. I wanted to figure out how I could make my signature curls but do them heatlessly, and this is how I came up with to do it. So this is what I used. First, I used flexi rods, and these are just kind of like foam rollers that have a wire inside so that you can bend them, and that holds them in place while you sleep or wait for your hair to dry. You can get them in lots of different sizes, lots of brands make them, and they're pretty easy to find and easy to use. Also, I'm gonna use a spray bottle of water to get my hair damp, or you could shower and wait for your hair to dry a little bit. Then I'm using setting lotion, and this actually helps your hair to be smoother when you set it, so it's less frizzy, and it helps your hair to hold heatless curls better. This is the only brand that I've tried so far, but I love it. So this is how my hair is when I'm starting out, and let's go ahead and get started with how to set the hair. Start with your hair parted on whatever side you would normally part it on, and then split your hair in half. Then on one side, go ahead and split your hair in half again, and that's going to be the first section that we're going to work with. And now I'm going to brush the hair up. That way the roller sits on top of the head, which gets the curl nice and close to the scalp, but also keeps you from sleeping right on top of the roller. Then I'm going to spritz my hair with some water and add in the setting lotion. That way your hair is damp and you have a little bit of hold added into it. Then I'm going to grab a flexi rod and I'm going to wrap my hair away from my face just like I would wrap my hair around a curling wand. You want to make sure this is as smooth as possible because any kind of frizz that you see here is going to still be there when your hair dries. Now just bend the flexi rod toward your face until everything feels nice and secure. If the ends come out, cause mine kind of do sometimes, just wrap them back around as smoothly as possible and if you want to, you can secure it with a bobby pin just to make sure it doesn't fall out while you're sleeping or waiting for your hair to dry. And then we're gonna do the same thing with the other section of this half. So you're gonna brush it up, spray it with some water. If you want to, you can add in setting lotion. You don't have to, this will work perfectly without the setting lotion. And then I'm going to wrap my hair away from my face on the flexi rod again. Of course, making sure that it's as smooth as possible. Then I'm going to bend the flexi rod toward my face and that will be it for this side. And now on the other side, we're doing the exact same thing. So you're just gonna split your hair in half, brush it up, spray it with water, and wrap it around the flexi rod. I really like this method, first of all, because I think flexi rods work very similarly to curling irons. Basically, you can just wrap it however you would normally do with a curling iron. And so it translates really easily. If you have something that you know really works with a curling iron, you can do that with flexi rods really easily. Also, I can do this in about five minutes, definitely less than 10, which is definitely one of the fastest heatless methods I've ever tried. So overall, I really like these. I think they're great, and you can get a set of flexi rods for less than $10. So that's why I really like this method, and I wanted to show it to you guys. So once all that is done, you can either sleep on it and let them dry while you sleep, or you can wait. So you could do this in the morning, and then probably by afternoon, your hair would be dry. And now once your hair is dry, it's time to take the rollers out. And all you have to do for that is just to untwist them and let the hair fall off the roller. If it's being stubborn, you can always kind of like unwind it like unrolling a sleeping bag, but I've never run into that with my hair. And you can see when we finish this up, we end up having four giant ringlets. So here's how to kind of break them up. First of all, I like to pull them into smaller pieces so that it looks like you did lots of individual curls instead of four giant ones. And you can see it looks really nice, like ringlets, it's kind of pretty. And you could totally leave it like that if you wanted to. What I noticed with my hair was that it was a little bit more fluffy than I wanted it to be in a couple of areas. So I went through a couple more steps to get it smoother and I wanted to show you guys how I did that. First, I ran my fingers through it to make sure to break everything up and then I ran a hairbrush through it. And you wanna do this very carefully because some hair types can frizz out a little bit more when you do this, but it does help to fight the fluffiness because after you brush everything out, you can add a little bit more product on top of that. So once I had everything nicely smoothed with my hairbrush, I went ahead and broke things up again with my fingers. So that way you see kind of those individual ringlets coming back, but they look much smoother. And then to cut down any fluffiness that's left, and this is what you can do if you have any frizz, is to use a serum, an oil, or more setting lotion if you have that. I found the setting lotion worked really well for smoothing out just a little bit of extra stuff at the end. One final trick, if you notice any areas are way too curly, you can spritz them with water and that can help them relax into a looser curl. It especially works for people with straight hair or hair that doesn't normally hold a curl. And that way, if you have any areas that are just too curly for you, you can spritz them and then once they've dried a little bit, they'll be a lot more relaxed. 
And that's it for these heatless curls. You can do this with any size flexi rod you want and you could actually get tighter curls if that's your thing. But for me, this is my signature curl that I normally do with a curling iron and I love that I can do it heatlessly. It's so much better for my hair. It's such a time saver for me. I really love it and I hope you guys love it too. I hope you try it out. Uh, make sure to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and I'll see you in my next video. Mwah. Bye.